Hey gorgeous, thank you for hopping in to say hi today. I hope you're doing so super well today. If you have a minute, I would love to show you an incredible new shawl design that we have for you. Take a look. This is our Misa wrap designed for you by Monica Wesley, and it is beyond incredible. This shimmering design is truly quite magical. It is ethereal, it is elegant. It floats, it drapes, it's got beautiful shimmer, so you are sure to feel wrapped in magic and wonder when you're wearing it. This design is a usable rectangular shape, so it is great as a shawl. You could even use it as a throw. It features these elongated stitches in varying widths, which creates this undulating wavy texture. And we do have a video showing you how to work that, so check the description box. And here's the cool part about this shawl. It has beads. Yes, I know, oh my gosh. I think this is the first project we've shown you with beads. And we do include all of the information for the beading in the pattern, but if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can just leave them out, totally up to you. But I am gonna show you here in a minute just how easy it is to add beads to your knitting. To add to the magical elegance of this pattern, we chose to use our Misa Hughes Pearlescent Fingering Kit. It's got beautiful maroon tones and some gray, it's got toffee and sage green and brown. It is really absolutely stunning. And it's got a gorgeous sheen to it, so the light's just gonna bounce and really make this a showstopper. The info for the pattern and the yarn will be in the description box, or you can hop to expressionfiberarts.com. I'm gonna be showing you two techniques today. One is how to use a tiny crochet hook to apply beads to your knitting. And then two is how to work kitchener stitch. To add your beads, you're just gonna need a really tiny crochet hook that fits through your chosen bead. To add your bead, you're gonna place one onto your crochet hook, and then the next stitch on your left needle that you're about to knit, you're gonna slide it off with your crochet hook, and then pull it through that bead. Then place that stitch back onto your left needle, and knit it just like usual and you will have a little bead attached. I'm gonna show you one more time. Add a bead onto your crochet hook and grab the next stitch on your left needle that you're about to knit and pull that through your bead. Then place that stitch back onto your left hand needle, remove your crochet hook and knit that stitch. and your bead is on your knitting. Now that you know how easy it is to add beads to your knitting, I'm gonna show you how to work Kitchener Stitch, which you will find in this pattern. This pattern is actually two pieces that are seamed together with Kitchener Stitch. And Kitchener Stitch is a way to join your knitting in a way that produces a flawless look. It just looks like you've just knitted the whole piece in one. To start Kitchener Stitch, you're gonna hold your two pieces of knitting with the wrong sides together, so the right sides are facing outward, making sure that you have the same number of stitches on each needle. You're gonna thread another piece of yarn onto a darning needle, and you'll want to use the same yarn as your project so it blends in seamlessly, but for today's demonstration, I'll be using a different color so it's easy for you to see. On the front needle, pull the tapestry needle through that first stitch as if to purl, but don't remove that stitch from your needle. On the back needle, use the tapestry needle to weave your yarn through that first stitch as if to knit, and again, leave that stitch on that needle. On your front needle, you're gonna use your darning needle to insert your yarn through as if to knit, but this time you're gonna actually remove that stitch from the needle. Still on the front needle, you're gonna use your darning needle to insert here as if to purl, and go ahead and pull that through, leaving that stitch on the needle. 
Now on the back needle, you're going to insert your needle as if to purl and slide that stitch off. Still on the back needle, you're going to insert your darning needle as if to knit. Pull that through, but leave that stitch on your needle. Now you're just going to repeat those stitches over and over till you get to the end. So let me show you how to do that. So insert as if to knit and slide your stitch off. Insert as if to purl and leave it on. Now on the back needle, insert as if to purl, slide it off, insert as if to knit, and leave it on. Moving back to the front, insert as if to knit, and slide it off, insert as if to purl, and leave it on. Hop to the back, purl, off, knit, leave it on. So as you start going, you can start repeating those stitches to yourself. That's what I like to do. Knit, off, Pearl on, jump to the back, pearl off, knit on, and you're going to repeat that all the way across to the end. And if you like, as you go, you can use your darning needle to lift or separate your stitches so that they blend in seamlessly with the rest of your knitting. So let's go ahead and continue along. Knit, off, purl, on, jump to the back, purl, off, knit and leave it on. Now when you do get to the final ones, you're just going to continue like you were. Knit, off, and then purl off. And you can see that you're going to have lovely little knit stitches. There you have it. We really hope you love this pattern so much. It really is one of the most beautiful things I've seen. And I can't wait to see your version. So be sure to post it on social media. I hope you find some time today to knit or crochet or do something crafty. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm going to be showing you here in a minute just how easy it is to apply beads to your knitting. Slide that through your bead. I need more hands. <laughs> eh? Truly quite magical. I don't have another word other than magical. Um, it is so freaking gorgeous. Those are words, um, it is. I mean, yeah. And the beads just add, oh, um, mm, whoops. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, there you have it. Alrighty, there you have it. Alrighty, there you have it. Alrighty, alright, alrighty. Again, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye bye.